Some areas of Louisiana received more than a foot of rain during January, which saturated many fields. But according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture's drought monitor, nearly 90 percent of the state ranges from abnormally dry to extreme drought. More rain will be needed to break the cycle. The drought has caused us to mine all the water out of the soil um, last year with the crop season, and so it's going to take a lot more than just the last few weeks of rain to truly replenish that in the soil. Louisiana has two distinct rainfall patterns across the state, a northern region and a southern region. There is little difference between the two except for one season, summer. What we found looking at the, the rainfall patterns is that the only true difference between those two regions are in the months of June, July, and August, those summer months, the irrigation months. Last year, some areas of the state were so dry, the soil repelled water. When the soil gets too dry, it becomes hydrophobic or does not absorb water like it should. And so um, instead of infiltrating, when the soil is dry, the water is going to run right off the field. Right now, the evaporation transpiration levels are low. But by the time June begins, fields can lose up to a third of an inch of moisture per day, which will require farmers to irrigate. When they furrow irrigate, they're putting out about an inch, inch and a half of water that actually gets into the soil. And so that accounts for the ET loss from the last seven days. While producers would like to see more rain, they need dry fields at the beginning of March to begin planting their corn crop. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.